Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another tag and it's going to be my most worn thing tag and it's going to be a winter edition so I'm excited to get started. So the first thing on there is the most worn nail polish. Now for me it's definitely been red and um, usually I use um, a red which is from Nails Inc and it's called St James but um, I've recently started using the OPI Nail Lacquer and this is in a, I think it's called Velvet and Caviar no it's called Volco and Caviar which is a bit of a deeper red, more luxurious but I love this I must say alongside any nail polish I've been wearing, I've been wearing it with glitter and I know glitter sometimes is a bit of a pain in the arse to kind of get off but um, I've been loving the Barry M glitter and this is in um, a gold, I think it's called, yeah it's called gold glitter um, quite hard to get off but I just like adding accents and stuff to my nails with gold gl glitter so that has definitely been a favourite for me most worn hair products, and you guys know I transition between wearing my own hair and wearing weaves fairly regularly, but um, I rarely ever put any products into my um, hair weaves as I find that it kind of weighs it down and makes it lose like its movement and stuff and I hate like stiff looking weave basically. But um, on my real hair, um, which I kind of moisturise as regularly as possible, um, I'm loving the Care Care um, conditioning cream headdress and it's just like a white oh you can't really see it's quite fluffy and really moisturizing and it's um it's got like all good products in it so no parabens or any of that nasty stuff as people like to call it and i find it very moisturizing i add a little on my hand and, like rub it into my hair and that really stops it from drying out so i love that hair product my most worn bag has to be um, this bag which I've got from Just Fab and it was my pick for December and I might have mentioned this before but the second I got it it was literally like it's my work bag now and I love the fact that it's got loads of compartments so I can put my diary in it. Um, this is my 2013 diary and I can get my laptop in it, my purse in it and it's got um, one, two, three sections and I absolutely love the detail on the front of it because it looks really elegant but it's really really sturdy and it's just what I need for like a work bag that's really trendy as well so I love this bag so the next question is most worn shoes I must say I absolutely love wearing high heels but I found that like I'm not as good as I used to be with wearing them because I really haven't been wearing them that much so I've kind of um, started wearing more wedges and you guys might have seen these um, these gold wedges I can't remember when I bought them about summer maybe and um, these have been my winter shoes because one they're suede they're really really warm they're really really high so if I don't want cold feet I love these and they're very very comfortable and they look gorgeous with like a pair of um, skinny jeans and um, for high heels they're like the most comfortable thing you can get so I love these and look they look so luscious don't they they're like a really luscious no it's not suede it's more like a velvet actually so most worn accessory, I have multiple so I'm going to show you all of my most worn um, accessories just because I kind of wanted to show you so one is this fur trim, I know it has been worn to death and I don't care, I think that this is the, the best thing I've ever bought like for winter because it's so cosy, it's so so warm and like when you're cold like just wrap it around, I use it like as a muffler as well if it's really icy cold and even I wrap it around my head so I know people have seen me like walking around like this but um, I absolutely love this. It's it's like the best investment. It was £30 from Zara and it's getting a bit... Hmm, because it is worn every single day but I would definitely um, buy one every single year and hopefully this lasts a little longer but I love this. Like I want to wear it now. But I won't. <laughs> so some of you might know that I hate wearing earrings. Um, not that I hate wearing earrings. I just don't like the way... I look with hearing sometimes I feel like I look like you know like a chav like proper chavvy and stuff um, but um, it depends on how you wear them definitely as long as they're not too big or too garish then I think I'm absolutely fine with them and um, I've actually been wearing earrings like yay high five um, I don't know if you can see these these are from Dorothy Perkins and they look really elegant and 
they're like an antique gold on the outside with some black and a little crystal on the inside and I just love the way these look I feel like oh, I sound so crusty I'm so sorry guys um I just like the way these look and lovely I have been wearing them loads like they're my go-to earrings and also guys it's got to be my um fur hat just because obviously this is the winter edition that I found that it's so cold like this kind of exposing yourself thing doesn't really work so this has been I'm gonna go through this top I don't want to mess up my hair but this has been worn so much I love this it really keeps me warm along with that obviously it can be a bit much but when you're cold I don't think you care like <laughs> I've got everything on so yeah so most worn clothing item I'm sure you guys know this if you watch me enough has got to be this um studded jumper which is from I bought from Leather Lane Market so I work in Chancery Lane and um there's a market there so sometimes on your lunch break there is nowhere else to go so I went there to go and have a look and see what was there and um like I went on this market store no furthermore my sister bought it first in the dark grey I borrowed that already and um I was like oh my gosh I must go to this market she's like it's Leather Lane Market it's Leather Lane Market because we work really close to each other so I went down there and they didn't have her grey but they have this grey so I was like yes I love this it was £25 now I think that's just expensive for something from a market stall it's lasted really well really good quality so I love that just to add because it is a winter edition I thought I'd add most worn jacket because you can't go anywhere without a jacket here. Um, mine is, oh, I love grey, but mine's definitely got to be this um, jacket that I bought from, what's this, Pull and Bear. Um, I actually bought it when I was out with the girls um, at an event there, and I bought it for £50, amazingly warm. It's got this gorgeous lining on the inside, and it's kind of like a grey speckled colour. And this is basically my everyday coat. So this, the fur, and good and I actually sometimes wear my um got like a woolly waistcoat thing that I wear with this as well so I love this so my most worn foundation um I'm not a big makeup person so I've been really trying to get more into it and stuff and could definitely do some more recommendations for foundations but um I've been using the match masters and the 8.5 and I really like it. Um, I do. I, this is the only foundation I wear versus what I use under my eyes. And I've also got the 8.0, um, but I find that to be quite cold on me. I find that this warms me up and makes me look like more chocolatey versus grey. But um, I really like this. But I, again, I'm not really a foundation buff. So any other recommendations, then do let me know. The next question is most worn blush or bronzer and I'll probably just show you both and they're both from Sleek again actually Sleek is the only drugstore product that I actually have and really really like Sleek um, they've got some great products and I've got this blush kit so I just use um, Pink Teeny and Pink Parfait at the end I think this is a bit too Barbie for me but um, I find that these when they're like rubbed in really really good I'm wearing Pink Parfait on me now and this is just my regular blush. I'm not one for changing products very much and I don't have a massive makeup collection, although I'd like to, but once I know something works, it's very rare for me to change it. And in terms of blush, I wanted to show my contour kit, which is from Sleek, and it's in the dark, and I love this. This is what I use to contour, and I use this to highlight as well. I've also got the NARS um, Orgasmic Illuminator, which I think is going to be my new favourite, but I haven't worn it enough to say most worn thing. So the next question is the most worn lip product. It's definitely got to be a lipstick, and it's a lipstick from MAC, and it's called Touch, and I absolutely love this. I bought this. Um, just on my way to Spain in duty free it was so worth it this is like if you're brown dark brown and you want a nude that doesn't look really like dry or ashy this is basically the nude for darker um, skinned girls it's absolutely lovely you can without a lip liner just slide this on so I absolutely love this lipstick so the next question is the most worn mascara and mine is the, um, I don't even know who it's by, L'Oreal. <laughs> it's the Volume Million Extra Black Lash. 
Um, it's about £10 and this is the only mascara I have, the only mascara I use. I basically use them, finish, use them, finish. I don't buy like four at a time or anything. So this is obviously going to be my most worn. And again, this was another recommendation from my sister who had this and I noticed that it looked really good on her. And I was like, what is that? And she's like, it's this. So I love this as well. And the final question on there is the most worn eyeshadow. And I'm not much of an eyeshadow wearer. I don't do like elaborate makeup or anything like that. Um, I wear neutrals 99% of the time. So you'll be looking at a, either a gold or a bronze or a nude <laughs> on my eyelids. But then I always use a dark brown. I don't know if you can see. But I always use a darker brown to just create some shape and some depth. And I love Max Embark for doing that. So I use this every time I do a darker um, shape on my eyes as well, just because it creates like depth and it looks nice and stuff like that. So guys, that is my most worn thing tag. And this is the winter edition. And I'm gonna tag a few other people in the description box as well. And if there's any other tags you guys want me to do, as I said, I'm definitely gonna try and do a lot more tags um this year and anything else you want to see from me let me know so thanks for watching guys bye